Good morning. Problems for Apple, a monitoring group called the Fair Labor Association, says an audit at its Foxconn plant overseas found, quote, serious and pressing violations of Chinese labor laws. In response, Apple says helping workers understand their rights is essential. Meanwhile, Apple Insider says another iPhone 4S user is slapping the company with a class action lawsuit. These suits have to do with its voice-activated assistant, Siri, not understanding its 4S owners when asking it questions. Elsewhere, United Continental also feeling the pain of higher fuel costs, and so it's now trimming domestic capacity this year, though it'll boost its international flights, which typically rake in more money. Well, you may be paying even more for beef this summer. Texas Governor Rick Perry says his state's cattle herds are already at an all-time low due to record droughts, and retailers who stop using the product will have to hike prices for what he calls no valid reason. Well, tonight is the huge Mega Millions drawing, and states have lotto fever as well. AP says the record $540 million jackpot would be a tax bonanza for the 42 state governments where Mega Millions is played. On Wall Street investors taking a close look at shares of research in motion, the BlackBerry maker now shifting its focus to business customers after losing popularity with consumers. We did have a mixed close for stocks yesterday. Some healthcare stocks did finish higher on speculation the Supreme Court will overturn aspects of the Affordable Care Act. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Jane King with the Bloomberg Business Report.